A great free text editor for Windows computers is Notepad++. It has a funny domain name because it's Notepad minus plus minus plus. Well, really, I guess it's Notepad dash plus dash plus dash plus dash plus. It's hard to say. Anyway, go to Notepad dash plus dash plus dot org. You could also try a Google search and make sure you end up at this domain. You don't want to get spyware from some other, some, from some other website. Anyway, um, so here's the website, and it, it shows you a little bit of pictures of like what you're going to get. But um, go ahead and scroll down and look on the left here. You see the download button. You'll be downloading the latest version. And I think you should just click on this installer. That's the simplest, the very first link there. And you note that it just starts downloading right away. So just wait for it to finish. OK, and now that it's finished, you can either find it in your downloads folder, or if you have a browser like Chrome that shows it right here, just click on it. And you're going to want to go ahead and allow it to be run. Select your language and go through the installation process. I don't really read these things. I just click. OK, done installing. This will run it right away. Go ahead and click Finish. Uh, some release notes, but you can ignore those. Now, see I've got this little orange bar right here, and it says change.log. That's the name of this file. So if you want to close a file, there's multiple tabs that can be put in here. And the, the tab close button is here. That's not the same as this button, which will close the entire note tab. So go ahead and close the little one. And now you see you've got a new document. On the left here, you have line numbers. As you add more lines, you get the line numbers labeled. The current line that you're on is highlighted, and you'll have syntax highlighting. However, you won't have syntax highlighting until you save the document, File, Save As, and choose a type. Now, you could try to, um, to go into this and pick your file extension, but normally you're going to know what your extension is going to be, so just leave this alone. And when you save it, for example, if you're going to save an HTML file, just type the extension in yourself, and it should correct it. Don't worry about this for the most part. And of course, when you're saving, always be very aware of exactly where you're saving. So now that I've saved this, I'll ha enable syntax highlighting for the type that I've saved it as. This is a .html file, so it'll enable syntax highlighting for the .html.